Hi there, myself Devanshi Kesarwani and welcome to my channel. Today we will solve the problem missing coin sum from CSS problem set. Let's see the problem. Well, we will be given with n coins having their positive integer value and we need to find what is the smallest sum that we cannot create using those subset of the coins. Let's take an example. Here we have 5 coins of the value 2, 9, 1, 2 and 7 and we need to find what is the smallest sum that we can't create using these coins. So let's see, can we create coins? All right, so let's find one, not here, not here. Okay, one is here, one is here. So we can create one, okay. Can we create two? Uh, let's see. Okay, so two is here, we can create two because two is here, right? So now, uh, let, let's see, uh, we can create three in this. So three is not there. But when you have one, when you have two, then do you need think? Do you need to think about whether I can create three or not? Because we, ha I have one, I have two, then that means I can easily create three. There is no point of even checking. Okay, so we can create three. Can we create four? Let's see. We have this two and this two. We can use and we can create four also okay can we create five of course if you can create four and then if you add this also then you can create five also can you create six mm, six is not present and uh, i i created like two plus two plus one that is five i can create five now can i create six no and six is also not present the next high number is seven so we can't create six or uh, that or we can say it is the smallest sum that we can't create using the subset of the coins. Okay, so what conclusion we can derive from this observation which we did to an example. Firstly, we need to do the sorting and that is so because we are looking for the number. We are looking for the number either I can create or whether it is present in our coin list. So for instance, we started with one so one was not here not here not and we found it one here if this was sorted it was too easy to find so the, this is the one thing which comes in our mind to do the sorting operation then we need to do some accumulating mechanism because we saw that if we have one if we have two then we can create three there is no point of even thinking so we need to do some mechanism of accumulation and then we need to do checking with the next so uh, checking with the next means uh, suppose uh, we were looking for six right and and it was not present in the list and the next number was seven and what the sum which uh, we created up to was five so five we five we created and the next number was seven and six was not present so like there is something which we need to take care of is we should check with the next okay so firstly let's do the sorting operation so here is our coins array which is sorted now uh, let's start with saying we have initial sum as one initial sum as zero this is zero so we don't have to create zero right we need to see for one one is present or or i or not so what we are looking for we are looking for basically sum plus one sum plus one right we are looking for sum plus one zero there is no need to worry because zero we don't have to even check there is no value of zero in the given question so there is no coin of zero basically so we are looking for here one and i'm standing here so one is present in the coins array right whether where you are standing it is present so okay no need to check then no need to worry about one we have one in our list then we will move forward 
now what we are looking for we are looking for sum plus 1 right so now our sum was no before uh, okay okay let me just erase this so as as said as told one is present in the uh, in the list so we need to worry about so our sum will sum will become now 0 plus 1 right because one is present and initial sum was 0 so our one is now our sum is now 1 because one is present now we will move forward okay so we will move forward now we are looking for we are looking for sum plus 1 our sum is 1 right our sum is 1 we are looking for sum plus 1 that means sum plus 1 is 2 so 2 is present in the coin array right it is present in the coin array then no need to worry that means you can happily add this 2 in your sum right now sum is 3 right but let's see what does this sum 3 signifies you are standing here and at this point of time you can happily say that you can create any number from 1 to 3 right any number from 1 to 3 why I am saying this because this sum is 3 you can create 1 you can create 2 by adding this 1 and 2 you can happily create 3 so so do you need to check for 3 no because at this point of time where, where you are standing currently you can happily say that i can create anything up to 3 that means you don't have to worry for 3 then uh, we are we will look for not 3 right because 3 i can happily create no need to worry then we will look for sum plus 1 so sum plus 1 is 3 plus 1 right that means 3 point 3 plus 1 is 4 so we will look for 4 and we will move forward also so now we are standing here we are looking for 4 and is it equal to coin array no it is not equal to coin array then we have another two condition it can be greater than it can be less than so here 4 is greater than coin array which is 2 right it is greater but let's study for uh, let's study let's take an hypothetical uh, example at this point of time let's say in place of 2 you had 10 you had 10 in place of 2 so that case this condition will activate it right and what does this condition sorry, says so you are looking for let me draw here you are looking for 4 right what you got is 10 you got 10 right so there is a gap between them and now my question is how can you fill this gap is there any chance you can fill this gap no right you are looking for 4 and you found uh, 10 which is a higher number so you, you gap this gap can't be filled and this gap means basically the numbers which are lesser which are the lesser number you can't create because there is a hole between them a gap between them but let's study for this example only so we ha don't have 10 here we have 2 okay so we have 2 now 4 you are looking for 4 now now just uh, try to try to understand this we are looking for 4 but we got a smaller number smaller number we got that means that number is can create 
4. Because that is a smaller number, what we are looking for, there is no chance it can create a gap. No chance it can create a gap. That means if I add this, add this, add this to my initial sum, then that will be 5, right? And what does this 5 signifies at this point of time? You can create anything from 1 to 5. Am I right? You can create anything from 1 to 5 because there is a no gap, no gap. You can create one, you can create two, you can by combining one and two, you can create three. By combining these and two and two, you can create four. And by combining all this, all this from one, two, two, you can get five. That means uh, this signifies that there is since there was no gap, you can create anything up to five. So th that means you know you don't need to check for five also. That means we need to check for now sum plus one and sum is sum is. 5 and we need to check for sum plus 1 so 6 and we will move forward also now we will be here now now at this point of time is it equal to coins array where you are standing no it is not equal to then again two condition it is greater or lesser now you are looking for let me write here you are looking for 6 and you got 7 which is a higher number basically you are looking for 6 you got 7 and then there is a gap of 1 how you can fill this gap you can't fill this gap so our answer will be sum plus 1 our result will be sum plus 1 I think it is clear and uh, and this is what accumulation was so let's try to now code this okay so we need constraint uh, we need a uh, number of coins n and the second line contains the value of each coin so let me just write n as 0 because integer can hold now we will input and since since uh, there is a no line after the input right this is the this is our coins uh, num uh, e value of each coins so i can get the input directly I will say int input as 0 and I will say say in input and I will create a coins array I will say coins or I will create a vector vector of int and I will make it coins then I will take the input from here and will push back into the coins array so I will coins dot push back the input okay so now First thing we need to do the sorting operation. So I will say vector dot begin. No, no, vector coins. It should be coins dot begin. Coins dot end. Then I will define a variable which will tell our position. So in position, I can say zero. zero now i will say now i need to also create the sum variable so let's define it sum as long long because it may have to store large numbers so i will say while 
i is position is position is less than n right the size if that's the case then now we are looking for what sum plus one right sum plus one and it has to be it has to be greater or equal right it has to be either greater or equal so i will say that this greater or equal to coins position if that's the case then i will add the i will add if that's the case then i will add it to the sum variable that means i will accumulate if not if not then i will then i will break and i, I have to also increase the position and at the end i will just display sum plus one i think it's clear we got the input we created the vector since uh, there was no line after the in uh, after the coins value list then i just appended it in our vector then defined the position and sum then here we varied if the position is less than n then we need to do this we need to check if our sum plus one what we are looking for basically this sum plus one is what we are looking for is greater than what is present at that po position at that uh, at that position the coin value at that position if it is greater if it is greater then that means i can happily say that th there will be no chance of gap and i can add this to our sum if it if it is smaller than what we are looking for then th then there is a chance of a gap and that gap can be filled and that would be our answer sum plus one you do uh, your own paper and pen work and that would make it more clear let's try to submit this now so missing coin sum all right so it has been accepted 